Good morning friends. Welcome back to Pannika Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed basics of LinkedIn list. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss various types of LinkedIn list in detail. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. Basically, we have four types of LinkedIn list. One is the single LinkedIn list, double LinkedIn list, circular single linked list, circular double linked list. So each one I will discuss in detail. What is meant by linked list? Linked list is a collection of nodes where each node consists of data and address of the next node because in an array all the elements will be stored in a contiguous memory locations. But when it comes to the linked list, we will allocate the memory dynamically. So these nodes may not be in the contiguous location. So if you want to access the next node or the data which is there in the next node, you should know the address of that node. So that's why in a node, we are maintaining the data and also the address of the next node. So let me give an overview about the how the single linked list will be represented. Let me consider three nodes, okay. This node is there in the address location called 100 byte. This is in 200, this is in 300 location. Now, as I said earlier, each node will consist of two things. One is the data and another one is the address of the next node, okay. Now, let's assume that this node is having the data 10, this node is having the data 20, and this node is having the data 30. Now, this will have the address of the next node. What is the address of the next node? 200. So that will be there here. So this is a pointer which is having the address of the next node. So it is pointing to the next node. Similarly, address of the next node is 300. So this node is pointing to this node. And this is the last node. So this pointer is not pointing to anything. So you should mention here as null. So this is acting as a null pointer. Similarly, we will have a head pointer which pointing to the first node. So it will have the address of the first node. So we have three nodes. Each node has the data and the address of the next node and the last node address will be null. Now we have the a pointer called head which is pointing to the first node. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? Now how can we define a node? With the help of the structure we have to define because we cannot make it as an array because one is the data and another one is a pointer. So they are two different data types. So we have to use the structures concept. So how can we define a node is that with the help of struct keyword and name of the structure is node, then you have to mention the members. One is the data and another one is a pointer. Now pointer, what is a pointer? Pointer is a variable which stores the address of another variable. And given we have discussed in the C programming long ways, an integer pointer can hold the address of an integer variable. A float pointer can hold the address of a float variable. Similarly, this pointer is pointing to which one? To a node. So it is storing the address of a node. So what should be the data type of this pointer? It should be the node data type only. So you have to define the data type of the pointer is struct node. So it is pointing to the node which is a structure. So you can write here the na variable name or the pointer name. We can see a next lot of people will use the here as next or some people will use it as a link. So any name you can give it. Okay. And the structure should ends with a curly braces and semicolon. So this is the way you will define a node in a single linked list. And this is the way you will access the elements. So first, if you want to display the elements, you will display like 10, then 20, then 30. Is it clear? And even we can perform the operations such as insertion and deletion. In insertion also, we can have various cases. One is that insert at the beginning, insert at the end, insert at particular location. All these things we will discuss in one particular video. Okay. Now coming to the double linked list. Okay. 
the double linked list each node consists of three things one is the data you will have a data okay address of the next node address of the previous node okay is it clear now what is the limitation of the single link list you can traverse in only one direction you can traverse like from this node to this node from this node to this node but you cannot traverse from this node to this node so backward movement is not possible in the single link list to overcome that one the developers have designed the double link list so you can traverse to the next node using this pointer you using if you want to traverse to the previous node using this pointer you can traverse so we will have the address of the previous node data address of the next node okay now let me give an overview with a simple example okay let's take that this is having the data 10 data 20 data 30 okay now look at here this node address is 100 this node address is 200 this node address is 300 so address of the next node so it will have the 200 address of the previous node see this is address of the previous node data address of the next node what is the address of the previous node 100 what is the address of the next node 300 similarly address of the previous node is 200 address of the next node this is the last node are you able to look at it or not this is the last node so you have to mention here null is it clear now this is the first node to this one previously no node is there so here you have to mention null so it will be pointing like this it is pointing and this is also pointing to this node similarly this is pointing to this one this is pointing to this one so you can do both the movement forward direction and also the backward direction here also we will maintain a pointer called head which is pointing to the first node so it will maintain the address of the first node is it clear so now how can you define a node in the double link list so what are the thing you have to add you have to add another member called or let me write the complete one for you okay you will declare a member called previous which is a strut node type okay then you will write int data and then you will write strut node and the pointer name is next is it clear so this is the way you will define a a node in the double linked list using the structures concept okay is it clear so this is the way we can represent the double linked list how can we perform the insertion and deletion we will discuss in the coming videos now let me discuss about the single circular linked list now what is meant by circular from last you have to connect to the first is it clear are you able to understand even in the arrays we have discussed like this now you have the index 0 1 2 3 4 is it clear from this node if you want to go this node so you have to have this connection like this are you able to understand so now it is circular 0 1 2 3 4 then again you can come to 0 1 2 3 4 like that you can say is it clear so when you can say that it is a single circular linked list if the last node consists of the address of the first node is 100 so then you can say that it is circular are you able to understand if the address of the last node is consists of the address of the first node so this pointer is consists of the address of the first node then it is a circular linked list so it is a single circular linked list now we will discuss about the double circular linked list to the double linked list if you use the concept called circular then it is becoming as a double circular linked list how are the changes you have to do this is the address of the next node so here you should have the address of the first node so here you will have 100 and this is the address of the previous node so here you should have this 300 so this one is pointing to this node and this one is pointing to this node so 
you introduce the circularity in the double linked list so such kind of linked list we will call it as double circular linked list i hope you have understood the various types of linked list but lot of people will say linked list sir if someone say linked list which one among them if someone simply say linked list then it is single linked list only okay are you able to understand so in the next video i will discuss about what are the operations we can perform on the single linked list and how can we perform insertion deletion at front at end all these things we will discuss with c program in detail so i hope you have understood the concepts which i have discussed in this video if you still have any doubts feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day